So hi to all the viewers, myself, Dr. Karthik Vijay Gumar, Endocrinology Faculty at Doc Tutorials. Today, I'm very happy to introduce before you Dr. Venkat Sai, who is the proud achiever of All India Rank 278 in the recently conducted NEET SS 2024 exam. So big congratulations to you, Dr. Venkat Sai. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So, uh, is this your first attempt in NEET SS, Dr. Vingard? No, sir. Uh, I, I was passed out in August 2023, sir. This is my second attempt. OK, OK. So can you please give a brief introduction of yourself before we delve more into your preparation strategies? Uh, yeah, sir. Actually, uh, I got uh, rank 1003 in the last year session, sir. Uh, so uh, I aspired for endo and rheumat. Uh, uh, so uh, the I thought I will attempt the next uh, NEET SS and I, I was keen into going into the government service, sir. So I joined as a senior resident uh, and uh, after that, uh, actually, there is no time for me to prepare. Actually, I thought uh, I will write for the October, but uh, there is as there is uh, no exam, uh, I joined as a consultant physician, sir. So I was working in a private hospital. And uh, the problem is, uh, in the last three months when the NEET was announced, I was uh, working as a busy practitioner, sir. So I couldn't get any enough time. So uh, I kept leave in March, sir. From March 1st, I kept leave so that I could study. Till then, I did not study anything. Uh, uh, but my grandfather fell sick and I have to, uh, in the first week also, I have to attend him. So March 6th or 7th, I exactly uh, started my preparation, sir, March 6th. Uh, so I know you, I know the doctor tutorials app from your endo session, sir, uh, which I previously prepared, prepared for INI. So I went with doc tutorials, sir. In the first three, four days, only I saw the videos, sir. Only Harrison tables only I saw, sir, first four days. So... Uh, then I prepared a strategy for the next coming uh, 10 to 15 days, sir. So March 6th to 10th, I only saw the Harrison lectures, sir. Uh, only the videos. From March 10th, uh, I started uh, reading daily QRP, sir. One QRP for one day, one subject. So, sir, are you able to listen to me, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Please yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, okay, sir. So uh, one day, one subject, sir. And I saw that uh, there are Harrison mini test series, sir. So if I keep uh, example for, for the first day, I kept endo, sir. I, I read the endo QRP total, the notes. And uh, uh, daily, I, I used to do that 10 mini test series, sir. And uh, those things which are missed in the QRP notes, I used to make note of it or I take photo of it and underline, sir. So like that, I prepared eight subjects and uh, it is around March 2021, 20, sir. Then I started revision, sir. In the revision schedule daily, I, I used to keep in 2x Harrison videos. Afternoon, I used to do, uh, 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 I used to see the uh, pics which I have noted and uh, QR again, sir. Evening, I used to do GT, sir. Daily one GT. So last seven days, second revision, videos, and daily one GT, sir. So this is the entire thing I have prepared, sir. So I, I think this is a great blueprint for those who are, doesn't have enough time. And Dr. Venkat has beautifully narrated how he was able to like uh, like uh, schedule all his preparation in the span of like two to three weeks alone. Hats off to you, Dr. Venkat, because this is one challenge a lot of students have shared us because many of them had already passed out in 2022 or 2023. And now there was a big hiatus of around one and a half years where in the year 2024, we didn't have any neat tests. So it was always difficult for them to dedicate this much one and a half years alone for preparation. So many of them were uh, have started working. As you told, many of them had become busy practitioners. So it was always a challenge to devote time for dedicated preparation. And many had lost touch also when they stopped reading for continuous six to nine months. So how did you keep yourself motivated all these times? Because it's really quite challenging many a time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, basically, as preparation days are less, sir. Uh, and also, actually, the uh, I mean, uh, frankly, sir, uh, previously, two to three years back, NEET SS used to be not like this, sir. 
when i saw the previous papers also uh, actually we majority of the aspirants uh, could manage both things daily reading for 4 hours and uh, doing our work parallelly doing it uh, both it, it it is okay sir but now neat assess have become uh, practically like neat pg sir from the last 3 months onwards uh, so many people have stopped working and started studying and i could see in all the groups that all the groups i have added that there is so much competition and my juniors who are passed immediately in 2024 are also a big challenge for us because uh, they have read the harrison fresh out of the uh, uh, their curriculum so it's a bit very challenging sir and initially 3 4 days we could not i mean now if you want to in these times sir if you want to get good rank in neat ss you have to stop everything and you have to at least study for uh, at least 2 to 3 months sir. that is uh, that is one thing sir and uh, actually when we are studying neat pg we used to read for a, at least 11 to 12 hours for the preparation sir but immediately after starting the preparation for this uh, i could read only 6 to 7 hours how much time uh, we should take but uh, after attempting the gt and after uh, initially my gt marks were around 80 82 to 90 questions only sir so i thought uh, this this is not going to happen and if it's not going to happen this time it's go- not going to happen next year also so whatever i do i should do in this time only so from uh, i used to keep a schedule sir basically if we the main thing is if we start late in the morning sir that is a big drawback sir so we should get up early we should start at 7 o'clock and we should complete our portion if we complete our portion before 10 those 3 hours that is crucial sir because with positive attitude we can move forward because already 3 hours we have read and uh, in the early morning we can read more so uh, i used this uh, preparation strategy in neat pg also sir so i followed that whatever the portion is i i should complete it before 11 so i could even if things uh, go sideways in the afternoons or if i get sleepy also if i get sleepy i i used to practice bits sir because we cannot read but uh, so i used to start studying daily 10 to 12 hours a day sir from morning 8 to evening 8 whenever i feel bored uh, whenever i feel it's not going uh, for half an hour or 20 minutes i used to see anime sir <laughs> anime also motivated me a lot because insta and uh, whatsapp uh, and i i used to see the images in whatsapp what uh, uh, what you uh, shinto sir for hematology and also vishnu sir for rheumatology used to keep updates na sir daily so i used to see those sir so that's what the preparation is like sir yeah, absolutely winged you know uh, telling about the uh, like the resources that we are offering you know conventional platforms used to give like uh, almost 1000 hours of video lectures for medicine the q yes, bank with thousands of questions and of course the gts but we offer some something new like what we have just you have just pointed out like the harrison tables and charts video the harrison mini test and uh, the li test and discussion and also the qrp so do you feel that for a person who have very restrained time and who doesn't have enough and uh, time and concentration to go through all the long videos these resources alone can help as a stand alone method for their uh, preparation over the short period of time do you feel it would, would be a uh, like good thing to uh, depend on to yes sir definitely sir because i have not i have no time to watch the long videos also sir sir uh, i think anyone uh who have read the your harrison tables at least three times harrison tables and flow charts at least three times who have completed the harrison mini test series and uh, if if there is time if you could watch elite discussion videos and the qrp notes and finally at least last five to seven gts i think they will get around 100 to 110 sir i i can i can assure it sir pakka so i i kept 111 sir 111 questions correct sir out of uh, 143 i attempted so i did not watch the long videos sir but uh, revision is the key sir if we read only one time the harrison flow charts or tables it's not enough sir if we read the qrp one time it's not enough sir so even if they prepare for only qrp session 
only harrison mini test series and uh, harrison flow chart if they do it two to three times i think uh, 90 to 100 easily they will get sir so that's a very very important point dr uh, wenkat has pointed out so even those concise resources that we are offering are com are in so, so in a way complete to a certain extent so if even if you stick on to those resources and keep on revising and make sure you are not getting any question wrong from those areas and as dr wenkat has pointed out and many aspirants have given me the feedback also you would definitely be able to score more than 100 so uh, dr wenkat you have got a very good rank of uh, 278 and thank you, thank which, you, you have mentioned two specialties endocrinology and rheumatology so which you are you yes, rooting sir. for this time actually sir in uh, neat ss i thought i will take uh, a rheumat sir if i any ss i crack i'll i'll take uh, endocrinology sir Okay. Uh, so, so first bet, first bet is on uh, rheumatics, rheumatics, sir. So DNB, uh, I, I am endocrinology this time, right? Yes, sir. I am endocrinology. I am writing, sir, this time. But now I am, uh, actually, I have been recently promoted as, I mean, got as assistant professor in my home UG college, sir, undergraduate college. I joined as an assistant professor, sir, last month only. So, so now uh, I think there is no much time, but uh, I am I am following what you said, sir. You advised me to complete all the long videos. Sir. I already completed QRP sessions in Endo, sir. Now I started seeing the long videos and uh, doing the GTs, sir. So I should see how how it pans out. But so I am happy, uh, sir. If, 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 I, if I do not get a good uh, seat in Rumat in DNB, sir, in my state or Telangana, uh, I would definitely go for uh, DM endocrinology, sir, because both are uh, equally good. I mean, both are equally, uh, I'm interested. So you already have a very good rank on your back right now. So you can go for the INI without any added pressure on your shoulders. And I yeah, hope yes, that yes, sir. you get an even better rank uh, in uh, INI endocrinology. And you would also join DM endocrinology in a reputed central institute and hope you will uh, meet sometime soon. So once again, yes, big congrats sir. to you, Dr. Winker and uh, all the very best in all your personal and professional endeavors thank you very much for your time thank you thank you thank you so much sir thank you for all your support sir okay